Magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Ako po ay nagagalak na kayo makasama muli. At shout out sa mga construction worker dyan. Kayo pong ang bida ngayong umagang ito. At bago tayo proceed sa ating devotion, tayo po ay manalangin. So, Heavenly Father, we praise you and we glorify you. We thank you for your goodness upon us. Lord, I ask for your forgiveness of whatever things we have done. Cleanse our heart, cleanse our minds, O oh God, that we focus on you. So Lord, we thank you for this beautiful morning that you have given us the opportunity again to experience your love, your mercy, your goodness in us, your miracles. So Lord, we commit to you even our devotion that you will be the one to be glorified. You will be the one to be lifted high. And every one of us here will be enlightened, will be refreshed, will be uh, strengthened, my Lord. So we commit to you this day, may your, your presence be upon us. We give all this to the mighty name um, we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Amen Okay, magandang umaga ulit sa ating lahat at ang ating author ngayon ay si Dwayne Ish si Dwayne Ish ay nagtratrabaho ang trabaho niya ay isang tagabuhos ng footer sa na-excavate na area so kumbaga siya ay construction worker So, at marami siyang, siyempre sa trabaho niya, marami siyang nakilala o na-meet na mga excavators. Pero, um, hindi maganda ang pagkatrabaho niya. Kaya, it makes his work harder yung kumbaga. So, however, may nakilala siyang um, maganda ang pagkatrabaho niya. Pulido ang pagkatrabaho niya. Excelente. So, tinawag niya ito. At sabi niya, at kinonggratulate niya sa job well done na ginawa niya. So, tinanong niya, sabi niya, what do you do to get your employees to do such good work? So, ang sabi niya, ang, ang sagot niya lang is, on ready days, first, we discuss safety issues. Siyempre, pag ready days, hindi ka naman makapagtrabaho. So, on, uh, and they will also discuss ways can, that make it easier for those who follow us. So, yun ang ginagawa nila sa so, mga safety procedures at mga bagay na gagawa nila para maganda ang trabaho at pwede silang tularan ng iba. Yun. So, na-amaze siya, sa, na-inspire siya sa sagot niyang iyon. At, sa, at um, dahil nakita niya na itong um, business man na to o kaya contractor na to is na, um, nag, nagkakaroon siya ng concern sa mga employees niya at sa others. So, tanong, ko, tanong natin, kung lahat tayo ay may concern sa iba, ano kaya ang mangyayari? So, ito, um, sabi pa ni Dwayne Ish, should it not be the goal of every child of God? So, hindi ba ito ang goal ng bawat kristyano? na maging concern sa iba. So, how do we consider others? So, ang topic natin ngayon is about considering others. So, mababasa natin sa Haggai 1.7. Sabi niya dito, This is what the Almighty says, Give careful to your ways. Hmm, hindi natin masyadong maintindihan bakit niya nasabi itong give careful to your ways so let us see 
So, sabi ni si Hagay ay isang profeta. During yung after uh, bumalik yung uh, during nung, nung bumalik ang mga Israelita from exile. So, siya siyang propeta. He gave word uh, he gave a word from the Lord to Zerubbabel, a governor of Judah, and Joshua the high priest. Sabi niya, maybe kasi nung time na yon nung nagbigay siya ng word na isa sa mga sinabi niya sa verse 4, let me read verse 4 sa chapter 1. Okay, let me check. Verse 4, sabi niya, is it a, is it a, a time for yourself to be living in your paneled houses while this house Mm. remains in ruin. So, mm, kasi sabi niya, um, siguro pagkatapos ng kanilang exile, bumalik-balik na sila sa kanilang uh, sa sa Israel. Naging busy na sila sa pagpapatay ng bahay nila, pag pag fix ng kanilang bahay na titirhan, paghanap ng makakain o hanap buhay naging busy na sila sa sarili nilang um, needs so nakalimutan na nilang uh, ayusin yung templo na naruin o kaya until naging comfortable na sila sa kanilang sitwasyon hanggang sinen si Hagay na isang profeta at Rinebyo o kaya pinadala ang salita ng Diyos sa mga Israelita. Nasabi niya nga sa verse 4 na yun, one of na sinabi niya sa verse 4. So, good thing, hindi na, uh, dahil sa sinabi ni sa, yung profeta na yun, si Hagay, pinakinggan na naman nila yung salita ng Diyos. At sila ay um, pinatayo yung templo o kaya rebuild nila yung templo ng Diyos. So remember, yung two times yung um, inulit itong this is what the Almighty says. Give careful thought to your ways. Sa so verse 5 at sa so verse 7. Same word, this is what the Almighty says. Give careful thought to your ways. So, nagkakaroon siya ng emphasis. O, pag, alam, sabi naman ni Pastor, pag inulit, kahit dalawang beses, o tatlong beses, o basta inulit, it has, um, in, it is an important message. Ine-emphasize na dapat natin gawin, o kaya, bigyan pansin. So, be careful of your ways. Mm -hmm. So, in our days today, the Lord saying this that we are also careful in our ways because everything we do have consequences. So before we do such thing, think of the consequences. Bago natin gawin ang bago natin gawin ang bagay. Isipin muna natin yung consequence na ibibigay niya. Is this eternal? or temporal. So, first, ano ba yung mga example? O kaya magbigay na nga lang ako ng example na things na could have an eternal value. Uh, Siyempre, itong concern has concern to others has eternal value. Kasi nga, sabi nga ni Lord, think. Give careful to your thought. Give careful thought to your ways. I'm sorry. Yan. Siguro ang example nito is pwede naman nating um, gawin ang praying each other. Ano pa? Sharing the word of the Lord. O kung concern tayo sa kanya. Mm, making our work excellent. 
para hindi naman pabigat sa susunod. O kaya hindi siya mahirapan. So, another is hindi tayo dapat pabigat sa iba. So, maraming bagay na magawa natin na extending our hands to others, which having concern to others, not only thinking of it, but doing, giving action into it. So, yun po mga kapatid, kay Kristo, dahil tayo ay anak ni Kristo, we should think like our God. <laughs> oh, hindi naman na talaga maging God tayo, but we have be like Christ. Think what the Christ is thinking and the do what the our Lord is doing. So, siya yung naging example sa ating lahat kung paano tayo um, mabuhay. I'm sorry. Na righteously with the help of the Lord. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, ano po ang mangyari oh, pag ito? So, think of this that it's nice it would be if everyone has concern for others. Kung ano, ano po um Isipin natin kung an, ano ba ang um, resulta kung lahat tayo ay may concern sa others. So, what would happen to our homes, to schools, churches, and work places if it is in reality? So, let's make it real. My brothers and sister, may the Lord help us on this. So, basahin ko yung sinabi ni um, ng ating author. Uh, sabi niya, uh, let me read. Take time personally or as family to think of ways you can help someone else instead of being a hindrance as yourself as I ask myself as ourselves me too I'm included do I make life pleasant for those who live and work with me um, do we do I let's ask ourselves do I make uh, life pleasant for those who live and work with me? Do I have an understanding heart with those I relate to? Do I live my life with regard for others? Do others desire to follow after me? Are we making it easy for yours, for ourselves, or for someone else? Brothers and sisters, again, I say, let's make this a reality. The Lord will help us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. The word that we should have concern for others. Thank you, Lord, for rebuking us, for strengthening us, for reminding us to be concerned of your things, of, uh, of the heavenly things, rather than of this world. Thank you, Father, for your always reminding us 
that we cons- we O oh Lord should concern of eternal and not the temporal. Lord, we praise you and we glorify you and we commit to you, O oh Lord, this day. And may you reign in our lives. Help us, O oh God, to do to be an example to others as you have been example to us. Help us, O oh Lord, to do your will. Get in our life. This I ask, Lord, in your precious.